Pete goes with the sunglasses, the traditional look. And these two PBA legends are set to go head to head. That's right, got by Ryan Schaefer. Ryan had troubles at the end of that match. Now he goes for history. Great start, Norm. You know, I expected Walter Ray to start right there to make a good shot. Uh, Randy, what do you think Pete Weber's going to do here? Is he going to move out? Is he going to go in there where, where Robert Smith just trashed the inside? Well, I watched Pete in practice, and he was playing right of 10. Yeah, he's out. And he's out now. I think that in his mind, he feels this is the only way he's going to beat Walt or have a chance to beat Walter Ray. Pete off to a good start himself. His 109th career. Singles appearance on TV. How about that? Ace hardware matchup, two Hall of Famers. Norm, how do you break it down? Well, if you look at the graphic, all nods go to Walter Ray Williams. He's got him in career titles, career earnings, career TV appearances, etc. Not to mention, they're both playing a line that Walter Ray Williams is most comfortable at. Yeah, but you know what? I, he never gave Walter Ray his 41st title. He doesn't want to be the guy to be, he doesn't want to be remembered as the guy that gave him his 42nd one as well. And he's tired of being Walter Ray's whipping post. And so he's going to say, Walter Ray, I'm going to throw a bunch of those at you today. Boy, that was a beautiful shot. Career win 41 for Walter Ray. As we talked about, came last year in Indy. World Championship against Pete. Here, the six time player of the year tries to take down Pete again with Earl Anthony's record. Standing as his goal, he will have the all-time tour title record with a win today. And he looks like he's got a great line at the pocket as well, Norm. Oh, both of them do. And it becomes, at this point, whoever wants it the worst. They're both lined up. It's an eight-frame game. Pete can't stand to watch him bowl. He says, you know what? I don't want to watch this guy strike or trip anything funny or get lucky. And right now... There's no luck involved there. It's all skill because he's absolutely dead flushing every shot. Yeah, it's a good thing he wasn't watching that shot. Perfect release again from Walter Ray. Tracy with Pete. Making a long trip to here in Tokyo. You should watch this shot. All 10 down for Pete Weber. Wow. Well, again, Petey, that's why he's a Hall of Famer. He can play any part of the lane. He said, you know what, Walter Ray, you don't want to play in with us? You're going to move right. Guess what? So am I. One break like that can be the deciding factor in title matches. Pete may have gotten it early, but he got it. What a start with so much at stake here between these two great bowlers. And look at Pete, he's turned away. He will not watch Walter Ray here. Can't do it. Well, he'll miss this shot. Late help on the seven. And while in our other matches, the guys are struggling to break 200, you can see now that we have a Hall of Fame matchup. These two Hall of Famers, both starting with the front four, both perfect. Tracy amused. Her husband is under no circumstance going to watch Walter Ray go for another strike. He has it. Well, he got away with the light hit there. That's the range that most people all day long have been shooting that flat 10 spare. That ball just folding the right side of the rack up, giving him the five bagger. Yeah, but that's most people. That's not this guy. <laughs> We've seen this guy make a living at doing that stuff, Norm. The front five for Walter Ray. Well, the top seed disadvantage. Last year's Step Ladder Finals, they could not win it. Let's check out the Atonic Edge, Randy, with Pete Weber. Well, he's got a beautiful swing, and it certainly didn't hurt any that his father was one of the greatest ever, Dick Weber. But you can see, Petey's got a really high back swing, but it's actually lower than it used to be. And then look at the beautiful position at the foul line. And then, of course, in every sport, you must have good balance. And Petey's got great balance. And the result? Perfect. The Atonic Edge with Pete Weber, who now goes for the front five. 
It's a little wide. Oh, but he gets the break. Help on the eight and the celebration from Pete Weber. Ouch. Do you think Tracy's a little pumped? Pete Weber knows he needs this one to stay even with Walter A. He gets the huge break and there's the celebration. How oh, the triple. Hairs are standing up on my arms. Front five for each. Looks for six in a row, didn't like it on the release. Oh. And that's why four seven. And possibly an over celebration in the fifth frame with that tipped eight pin. Yeah, you, you know, you, you can see Pete, he fell off balance there, looked like he got fast and he rushed it. And nine times out of 10, when you do that, you end up pulling it left. But the good news is no split, it's eight spare. The bad news is Walter Ray hasn't missed yet. Pete Weber wishes he did have that strike in the sixth frame. Walter Ray goes for the front six when we return. His quest for the all-time tour title record resumes next. Welcome back, everyone. Tokyo Metro Gymnasium, opener of the 0607 Denny's PBA Tour. Dave, Randy, and Norm with you, our entire crew. Walter Ray Williams, Jr. A tremendous start. Looks for the front six. Has it as he goes for the tour title record here today. Norm, our highest game that we've seen today is 222. Why? Pete Weber, front five. Walter Ray, front six. Why? I think, you know, this is nuts. I would have said a four-bagger clean by any player puts the other guy in fear factor mode. Why they've got five or six in a row, I don't know. I think it's just Are they just that good? That, and they're playing against one another, which I guarantee enters into it. Another. This is like, whatever you can do, I can do better. I mean, Walter Ray did, doesn't look like he's playing the lanes any different than he did the match before against Schaefer, and he only bowled 215 that game. Remember the last time these two titans of the sport met at the World Championship in Indianapolis. 236-213 was the score there. Pete wants the look back. He's taking a re-rack here, Norm. Yeah, he needed the re-rack frame before this. He needed to settle himself down. The question is, will it be enough? Because Walter Ray is locked in right now. Well, you see what Petey's done in title matches against Walter Ray, and I think right now Petey's in one of those situations where he can't miss if he wants to win. This has to strike. It does not. Two pin for Pete. You know, it was high on the last shot on this lane, but he fell off balance. It was obviously his worst shot. This one didn't look near as bad. No, it actually looked like it was online, and, and if anything, it may have been just a shade fast, but the line he's playing, he's got to be throwing it pretty firm. And what Walter Ray is doing with end over end roll, Weber is doing with spin and speed. He has to be a lot more precise than Walter Ray playing up the second arrow. Well, it goes back to Windsor Locks. Remember that, guys, in the blizzard in Connecticut where Mika Koivu Nemi against Jason Couch that day had a 300 game. Last on TV, 16th ever. Here's another for Walter Ray. Well, Walter Ray's never bowled 300 on television, but he's had three of them bowled against him and a 299. One of those players sitting right next to you and I, Dave, and that's Norm Duke. So he knows what Walter Ray is going through right now. But right now, Walter Ray's thinking of one thing and one thing only, and that's winning this title. And with a strike here, winning this title is exactly what he would do. Guys, this is it. A strike here, he sets the record. And that's it. Walter Ray Williams Jr. has done it. He's wrapped up his 42nd career title. He has the record. This is unbelievable to throw a shot this good with so much riding on it. The envy, envy of all bowlers right there. With the first nine strikes, he has wrapped up the Japan Cup 
And with it, the all-time Denny's PBA Tour title record. And Pete Weber at this point being considerate. Looks like he might not be trying. What he's trying to do is get out of Walter Ray Williams' way, knowing that Walter Ray could still become perfecto in the 10th. If anyone can focus on the moment of trying to get the perfect 300 game after wrapping up the record, it would be Walter Ray Williams Jr., wouldn't it? Well, it wouldn't surprise you any if he did. I mean, there's not a whole lot left for this guy to do except bowl 300 on television. He made the big four the only player to do that. Now he's the king in terms of titles. So the only thing left would be to bowl 300 for the very first time. And wouldn't that be a fitting end to the Japan Cup is to go to 42 total victories with the 300 game? Three strikes away from perfection. On the day he sets the tour title record of 42. He's got that wrapped up. How about the 302, Walter Ray? There's 10. Not just a strike. That's 10 in the pit, high flush. Yeah, I think one time this whole game he hasn't been 10 in the pit. And like you said earlier, 222, highest game on television today. He steps up for the title with the front 10. I mean, if there's any doubt who the greatest player in the world is, no matter what the lane conditions, no matter what the equipment's like, no matter what the format, this guy's gotten it done for a very long time. Keep in mind, he was player of the year back in 1986, 20 years ago. One of his six player of the year awards. How about 11? Oh, he looks good. Oh, are you kidding me? Seven pin. That's about the only thing that could stop Walter Ray. I can't believe it. I can't believe he, he made that shot. I can't believe that he didn't strike making it. Incredible how close it was. Wow. But he has already wrapped it up. He has won the Japan Cup and with it, the 42nd career title to set the all-time record. Congratulations, Walter Ray Williams, Jr. What a moment at the Japan Cup. And he's about to get a sea of flowers, trophies, balloons, confetti. They do it right in Tokyo. So there it is. Walter Ray has surpassed the late, great Earl Anthony with his 42nd career title. And it comes in a season opener here at the Japan Cup. Boy, this shot was absolutely perfect. It leaves what we call stone seven, or solid seven pin. Just an incredible shot. He's like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this whole arena is, you've gotta be kidding me. Walter Ray gets his 42nd career title. He thought when he first started bowling, he would never have a chance to win number 42. He's done it. He holds the new record.